strive to create a space for amazing and courageous people to share their stories here at the show. And in the wake of the senseless attacks on the Asian community across our country, many business owners and influencers are using their voice to speak out against hate and injustice. And we always want to use this platform to elevate these voices. And so I really want you to meet our friend Sarah Wynn. She is the founder of Wynn Coffee Supply, the first specialty Vietnamese coffee importer and roaster in the US. And Sarah has been using her business to fight for racial justice one bean at a time. And Sarah is here in the studio! You went to UCLA and studied Asian American studies. studies. Yes. What made it so important for you to have other people's back and fight for what you believe in? Yeah, I think, you know, growing up in Boston, I just felt so invisible as a young Vietnamese American kid. And then when I discovered activism in high school, I just I found my voice and I found my passion for increasing representation because I didn't have that growing up. See, these are why I love hearing this because people, it's like that's your truth yeah. of who you are as a human being. And it's such an inspiration to other people. Now, here's a fun fact, Vietnam, Number two behind Brazil yes. for coffee production? Yes. I didn't know until 2016. And I was like, how do I not know this fact? I'm Vietnamese American. Drew, it's because of lack of transparency and because Vietnamese coffee and farmers have been rendered invisible in the coffee world. Well, let's bring this into the light. Take okay. me through this beautiful okay. coffee of yours. Yeah, so I brewed you a fiend drip coffee. You flip the cap. Yep, the cap becomes a coaster. Put it over, and I already put a dab of sweet condensed milk for you in the bottom. You can stir it up. And this is Loyalty. It's our best-selling blend, and it's a blend of both Arabica and Robusta, which Vietnam is the most famous for. Thank you for letting us shine a light on your small business, which is really a big thing at this show. <laughs> I learned so much yeah. about how important it is to feature small businesses. <laughs> So it's a little stronger than usual because Robusta has two times more caffeine than Arabica coffee beans. There's a really delicious note of like a beautiful bitterness that's almost like a dark chocolate. Mm -hmm. And then I'm just getting velvet. It's so smooth oh, and so, so beautiful. Happy. Now, how can the rest of us really be an ally in this time mm -hmm. where we want to support each other? Do you have a suggestion for me or anyone who may be watching? First, check in with yourself and see if you have certain biases or stereotypes about Asians that you don't understand. So unpack that first because change starts inside. And then the next thing is to use your voice and your platform and your privilege to have these conversations with other people because when we can start one-on-one, -on -one, it creates a ripple effect of change. I also reached out to all of my friends and I just said, what can I do? How can I be there for you? I love what you just shared because it shows that being an ally and being a change maker, it's not a perfect path and it's not a linear path. It's about being open to learning and stumbling and growing. I think that's just the most important thing, right? And so thank you for reaching out and so being so honest and vulnerable about your, your experience as well. Thank you, Sarah. And yeah. are we now best friends? Yes, I hope so, please. Oh my God, <laughs> but we want to continue supporting all the good work you're doing, which is why we're also going to buy a $5,000 cup of coffee from your store. And we're going to put you on the website, the whole business. And you are, I'm so honored if you will be in our um, small businesses gift guide. Are you kidding me? And thank you, Sarah.